Hey folks, welcome to Tiny Texas Houses. My name is Brad Cattell. And I'm Mackie Smith. And we want to tell you about an incredible seminar we just had called The Ugly Duckling and followed up by The White Swan, which is even more incredible because we took all the parts and pieces, the skeleton, the bones, and created two beautiful white swans out of this very ugly house. Using essentially nothing but the uh, enthusiasm and energy of a whole group of uh, really great people that came, joined us. Uh, we facilitated as they uh, took all these materials down from the house in one day, very impressive. And over the course of a week, we've got now uh, the framing and the beginning of exterior siding done on, on two houses. They didn't just take it down, they also pulled the nails on pretty mm. much two thirds of it. Um, and dropping the house, normally that would have been like a week and a half, two week job for a crew. So that really shortened dramatically the time frame we've ever done. We've never done anything that fast. And that was with 25 people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on site. Uh, women and men, women on top of the roof, just uh, working on every part of it. So there was no difference in that regard for the most part. And uh, just as we got finished, the weather went to heck. Heck. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, for sure. Um, so what we're going to be uh, producing here is the instructions so you can take your energy and your enthusiasm and do the same thing that we've just done and create the tiny house uh, of your dreams. With some instruction, basically, what we're saying is that nearly anybody can tear down houses and they can tear them down safely with a little bit of common sense and some training. And then the next step is and I still believe this too, that nearly anyone can also build, or at least as a group, the talents will be where they need to be. We had people that loved the painting. We had people that um, loved the denailing rather than pulling and running crowbars. And some people love cl um, cleaning. Oh goodness, yes. Uh, picking up all the shingles and all the parts and throwing it in the trash. Um, the whole idea of this is that there's a spot for everyone. And so during this video, during the whole seminar you're gonna see how people just kind of fit in and with 25 people we weren't stumbling all over each other all trying to do the same job some people just plain didn't want to do up on the roof so we didn't have a big rush to get on the roof and so as we went to do the building the same thing some uh, some of the participants were hot on the nail gun and running the saws um, but the idea is and we did it organically in my case without CAD and everything. We did it kind of as we went and do drawings and sketches and nothing very complicated, just like a person who didn't have any skills and didn't know how to use a computer or anything like that might do. And then Mackie did it all with CAD. Yeah, and we've, uh, so this is, I'm going to, uh, in this program, we're going to show you what I've done uh, to simplify the use of computers. So if you want to use computers, that's another workflow that you can do. And uh, some of the framing techniques that we've developed are really well suited to using large groups. Effectively what we've done over the last week is sort of like a like a barn raising, like an extended uh, barn raising and uh, that's a skill that I think has been lost in our culture and we're, we'd like to develop the technology further to, to make that uh, more and more possible. It really is possible we have all the resources in this country to make what we did in the last week and with another week maybe a week and a half, the completion of these two houses, will have tied up a total of less than two and a half, three full weeks to take one house down and to build two others that will last for another hundred years and be energy efficient, uh, be portable, be toxin free for them in the sense that we don't have any formaldehyde, plastics, vinyls, carpets, sheetrock, most of the other problems that you would run into in modern construction as far as materials that are being produced new, thus taking resources and energy out of our world. That's a really important part of this. Mm -hmm. He's in the generation that is going to benefit by keeping all this stuff around instead of throwing it in the, the dump because otherwise it won't be here for him to build with. So my objective is to get us into the mindset of saving it all now while it's still all over the place. Absolutely. We, we, believe, we believe that we can do this, that we can uh, create a sustainable future for everyone, uh, that it doesn't require uh, sophisticated technology or centralized planning, that this really can happen as a grassroots thing and that you are part of that 
we are part of it. We're all trying to put our energies into creating that, that future, an optimistic future for all of us. And when we talk about no sophisticated technology, we're talking about the whole thing has been done with some battery operated uh, tools, maybe saws all, a couple of saws um, for out on the teardown, and um, a nail shooter, nail kicker. It speeds things up dramatically, uh, which just shoots the nails out. In the process of building them, we really only use circular saws and screw guns, and uh, table saw has really gotten very little use so far. Mm -hmm. And so it really comes down to um, so little energy you could operate off of a 3,000 to 5,000 watt generator, and probably wouldn't take you $25 in gas for the fuel to operate the generator for the amount of energy that we're burning Absolutely. up to take a house down and to build two houses out of it. So energy is not a requirement. Technology is not a requirement. Mm -hmm. It's human energy and enthusiasm and creativity. Mm -hmm. That's what it amounts to. And essentially what we're talking about is, is like money sitting out in the field because, you know, we've pulled the, some of the two by eights that we've pulled out of this house didn't look like an exceptional house. In fact, it had been occupied by vagrants. It was really pretty, oh, it built it was, out a, of it was an ugly duckling, what it, we would it, call this, an ugly duckling. Yeah. yeah, built out of salvage originally. But we've pulled some beautiful, straight, heavy, tight grained uh, two by eights out of, out of this house that have just uh, been a pleasure to build with. And uh, these, these kinds of houses, properties exist all over the country. Oh, yeah. And uh, it, all it takes is just, uh, you know, setting yourself up in a position to uh, harvest these incredible resources. Working with other people, you can get trucks, trailers, most of the tools you need lined up. This is not an expensive tool mm -hmm. list. When you start talking about tools to do it, you wouldn't have to spend $1,000 for all the tools that we use to do the, pro the whole process, and unless you did multiple sets, of course. And the idea behind it when you're done is, again, any family could do it to build their own housing. Any group of people could do it to build a village. And that's what we're up to next. So this is the beginning of a DVD series on how to build. We've already put a DVD series out on how to take them down. And we're doing another one on this ugly duckling. But the idea is to then show you what to do with it. And this is the big process. We're really excited about it because the results, in my opinion, will be spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. I've got a design and colors that will just be stunning and he's got a design that's of a different genre mm -hmm. that'll also be stunning and yeah. totally break away from anything we've done before mm -hmm. and uh, I think that you'll find this an exciting and exceptional series. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let's do it. Join us. Thank you.